And it's another episode of The Dog Behind the Human with me, your host, Doug Coach Francis, and my fabulous co-host, Tina Ryan here. Parang ano, gusto ko lang mag, ano, two-minute break, Coach. Ang ganda nung guest talaga natin, eh. Naturally. Uh, natural. Lighting, lahat natural. Na-challenge ka ba? Hindi <laughs> ako na-challenge. Gumibab na ako. <laughs> Alright, so Tina, without further ado, our guest for this episode is... Kiana Valenshine. All right. Hi. Kiana, welcome. Look at that. Thanks, Ian. Okay, so I said, <laughs> You're making me conscious. <laughs> Girl, you should be beaming with pride. How is it to be the daughter of Kiana uh, Valenshine? Minimum pressure. I mean, how is it? There is definitely pressure that comes from, you know, people who look up to him and um, people who he's worked with, but never any pressure coming from home. Uh, my parents have always been supportive of my brothers and I with whatever we wanted to do, and I think that's such a that's such an amazing blessing. Um, they've been not only supportive, but they've always encouraged us to kind of experiment with our talents and just figure out our own path and yeah i think it it really helps that the pressure didn't come from home one of the music videos that we find na parang why ganda ni kiana dito and then the music of course is uh, really wonderful uh sabi nga ng isang comment natin uh, nasa may comment Sabi ni Ian Lorenzo, circle, circles, fave forever. Oh. So, yeah. so tell, tell us uh, a little bit about this music video um, or, or this music, circles. Yeah. So, so yeah, ang ganda. Okay. And sino to? Si Jake to, di ba? Si Jake yeah, Jake that's to. Jake. Yeah, he's a good friend of mine and... and um, this was directed by another friend of mine, Mike Karandang, and we really wanted to shine light on something that at that time wasn't getting enough attention, and that was, you know, domestic violence and the effects that that can have on not just one person, but the two people in a relationship. That was very beautiful acting for the music video. The shot, the cinematography, and uh, even the color grading, I, I love it. So, the color grading, pang nalalaman si Coach. Do. Of course. <laughs> yeah. I'm wearing like a Siri Media Productions oh shirt my. right now. I Pero... love all of <laughs> Color blind. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, all right. Super. Now, Kiana, <laughs> let's uh, shift into your love for for animals, for dogs. Um, I understand and oh. dami yung aso sa bahay. Yeah, we have a lot. We have a lot. Um, How many are we talking about a lot here? Growing up, we had like 20 dogs around the, the compound. Uh, yeah, because we were a lot of families living in one compound. So it was my grandparents, um, two of my mom's siblings who had like three children each, and then my family. And the dogs would just run throughout the compound and they were like our guard dogs. Um, now we have Chewy, Oreo, Vader, Winter, and Kylo. So there's there's five of them around. Yeah. Coach was mentioning earlier how special Kylo's story is. Uh, oh, I love <laughs> Kylo. So I um I got Kylo at a time when I was kind of confronting my depression and I just felt like I needed a companion, a constant companion with me at home. And I was actually in the hospital at the time when I made the decision like I need something to take care of. 
to take care of me. And so when I met Kylo, he was the most quiet puppy. Kylo just stayed at the corner of the cage. All his siblings ran to me. There were like two black ones. There was one that was silver and Kylo is um, light brown. And because of that, I was so drawn to him. I was like, oh, look at this little boy. He's so sad like me. <laughs> so I was like, I like oh. went to him. And I told the clinic, you know, I'll be back on Monday. I'll come pick him up on Monday. I just need to sort out, like, get his cage and all of these things. And I took him home with me. And he was the total opposite of who he was. <laughs> he was so naughty. He would, I, would, I would leave him at home for a couple hours and I would come back and the whole house was like turned upside down. He went through my books. He went through my shoes. He would go through the trash. And, and um, we really had to figure out this system where I had to like, I had to train him myself at first because at this time I didn't know of, you know, dog schools or dog trainers. I didn't know that was a thing. Um, I know a good coach, Kiana. I know, I think I know one also. Eh? <laughs> Only I had his card back then. But, <laughs> that's how it started. That's how it started with Kylo. He was very naughty. Um, but, you know, we got... I, he's such a good boy now. He, is, you know, is Kylo? Is, uh, he's a cocker spaniel. Okay, so tonight's topic, since we have the very beautiful and talented Kiana Valenciano, we're going to focus on songs about dogs. And what a perfect um, diba, uh, thing to talk about. We have a, a fantastic singer with us. So let's go with... You want to go with number five already, Coach? Yeah, so number five. Maybe we can play it on Muna. Now let's play it on Muna and then... How much is that doggy in the window? <laughs> The one with the waggly chain. How much is that doggy in the window? I do hope that dog is for sale. I read in All right. the papers there are rocks. Oh, it looks like a cocker spaniel, isn't it? <laughs> Doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's not like me. I think it it's a cocker spaniel. spaniel. It might have been a cocker spaniel. With the the oh, you're right. With the ears and like the big paws. Yeah. There you have it. That's Patty Page. Uh, with how much is that doggy in the window? And again, mm-hmm. my new dog is comes uh with responsibility. So yeah, reminding them, Kiana. Like every time we do the show. Okay, yeah. Be a responsible. That's what I there. I always. Always tell my friends who want to get a dog. I'm like, your life is not gonna be this. You can't just bring a dog everywhere, and you have to be where your dog is. So, oh, thank you. Like, it's, it's hard that. work. But <laughs> repeat that. This me tatawagin lang. To a point that Patty Page in 2009 was quoted uh, with this phrase. I mean, the original song asked the question, "How much is a doggy in the window today?" The answer is too much. And I don't just mean the price tag on the puppies in pet stores. The real cost is in the suffering of the mother dogs back at the puppy mill. That's where most pet store puppies come from. And that kind of cruelty is too high a price to pay. Yeah. And so whenever you hear this song, yeah, you, I know it's really catchy, it's beautiful. But it's also a reminder that we need to be really responsible. Of where we get our puppies from. Yeah. So, coach, number four song. Are we ready? All right. So, let me just queue up. So, again, bagu-bagu I, to. Generation. Ito, bagu-bagu to. What can you say about the song, Kiana? She's right. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, Kylo is so much better than like a lot of the people that I've met along the years. But you know what? He's still here. So (laughs) (laughs) the thing is, Kylo's so clingy. 
I mean, we're both so clingy with each other, right? So if I walk, if I if I come home and my dog isn't in my room or he isn't like running around the house, like I get such a weird. I'm like, wait, <laughs> where is Kylo? Like I get anxious. So number three is Blake Shelton's Old Red. Old Red. Now Red, he's the damnedest dog. There you go. Old Red is the hound. I think the bloodhound. Got a nose that can Blake's smell. looking good on this video. Trail. He's a four-legged tracking machine. <laughs> you can't consider yourself mighty lucky to get past the gators and the quicksand beds. But all these years that I've been here and nobody got past red. I've never heard this song. It's very catchy then. I love country music. So just a little bit of trivia for everybody who doesn't know. I love I country Kucho. music. I love Blake. I love Tim. It says mm-hmm. here at the end of the song, it stated, Love got me in here and love got me out. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One country to another. Our number two song is called Who Saved Who by Wade Hayes. Parang bagay kay Kiana. I know. <laughs> I first met him, he was digging through the trash. Beautiful guy, good no? Online filling station. He was looking for some scraps. He was frail. Like he'd been a while alone. He came to the truck. He jumped right in the front seat. He had a half-eaten pizza crust clamped in in his crooked teeth. And he smiled. Like he was finally home. And that's where we faded out. <laughs> Did you like that song? Yeah, that's a cute one. And so that was from Wade Hayes. Uh, beautiful. It's about a dog that he rescued. Rescued. Uh uh. Uh-uh. So, well, um, Wade Hayes originally wrote Who Saved Who as a tribute to his dog, Jack, who helped him get through two bouts of cancer several years ago. The touching song is now the title cut to a long-awaited album that will be... Well, that was released December 13, 2019. All right, so number one... Super popular, my goodness. Huh? Super popular. Super popular. It's okay. It's okay. Huh? <laughs> this is for dogs? No. Oh. I was trolling you. <laughs> oh my god. I was going to be like, wow, what a revelation. <laughs> Here it so is. Funny. For real. Okay, number one. Just because it's really popular. I think the first time I saw the video of this, I squealed. Let the dogs out. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Wow. <laughs> Childhood. <laughs> That's like me when I go to the facility of coach. I like squealed every time because he would let okay. all the dogs out and I'm like in heaven. <laughs> we put that on our list as number one just because it's so popular like everybody knows it and all of the dog events that I've been to will just play that song but I'm not even really sure if they know what the what's the real meaning behind it but that's why it made it to our top one on the list so it's time for the zoomies round so can I zoom this round? Uh, it's our fast talk version, so whenever Let's you're ready. Go. 
Okay, Kiana, here we go. Favorite color? Blue. Favorite place? Spain. Glasses or contact lenses? Glasses. Red wine or white wine? Red wine. Pasta or noodles? <laughs> Pasta. <laughs> oh, that's hard. That's hard. Be a dragon or be a unicorn? Be a dragon. Sunrise or sunset? Sunset. Would you rather be an amazing singer or a dancer? Singer. Would you rather know all the world's languages or speak with animals? Oh my gosh. I think I would know all the languages. Favorite OPM singer? My dad. It's gotta be my dad. <laughs> Favorite song of all time? This is hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not even fair. Um, um, PYT by Michael Jackson. Oh. oh. Um, that's a good one. If you were um, a dog, what dog breed are you, Kenneth? I think I might be a beagle. A beagle? Why yeah. beagle? I don't know. Playful, loyal, um, <laughs> loud. Right. So, Kenneth, um, your final question is, who is the dog behind the human for Miss Kiana Valenciano. I'd say it's Kylo. Um, like I said, I got Kylo at a time when I really needed help for myself, and and I was growing up, and and um, I think that we've grown a lot together. And you know, everyone knows that it's it's like Kiana and Kylo, and Kylo and Kiana. So I think Kylo is the dog behind me. Awesome. I love it. Kiana. All right. He's right here. Where are you sitting? <laughs> Coach, did you meet Kylo and Kobe? Um, no, no, no. I don't think so. Kylo. But there you go. There's Kylo. Again, thank you for your time. Regards to your thank mom you. and dad. Oh my thank gosh, you. I'm, yes. It's been ages since I last worked with your dad, but give him my regards. Wow. Okay, so, I will. Well, we'll see you hopefully very soon. And thank All you again. Right. Coach. Thank you guys. Thank you for making me feel so comfortable. Well, All right. And that's it for the dog behind the human. I hope you enjoyed the show. This has been Dog Coach Francis. Tina Ryan here. Keep healthy. Keep safe. And don't forget to pet your dog. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, you guys. Bye, Kiki. Bye. <laughs>